the Beavers. It's Knox, and the Big O is just around the corner. I'm super bummed I can't make it this year because just looking at the schedule has me hyped. As usual, there will be JRDA and MRADA teams there, but I'm not as tuned into those worlds, so we're just going to talk about a few things that you need to know about the WFTBA side of the Big O 2018. First off, let's talk about roster changes because we've got some big ones. As we know, around the end of last season and around World Cup time, we had a ton of high-level skaters retire. You can find a big list of them at the Apex. But for right now, let's talk about just a few of the new faces, transfers, and retires that are going to be affecting teams at the Big O. First up, let's talk about the changes to the roster for Angel City because I need to talk about the fact that Satan's Little Helper is not on their charter. I am not okay. She was such a clutch player for them last year. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how the roster adapts to, or to her loss. Um, they did get a new transfer west um, from Baja, I believe. Uh, they are a jammer for Team Mexico, um, so looking for big things from them. And then they also have Chrissy Crash back. Um, she was a, a big time Angel City blocker um, a few years ago. Um, she is a very tall woman and will fit in wonderfully back in with the Sequoia wall that I continue to have nightmares about. Did I mention I'm five foot? <laughs> Another big charter change is VRDL. As we know, Shana Sarilson, uh, Christy Diggins, and Jenna Nuku all left VRDL. But for a second, I just want to talk about Shana Sarilson because she's, you know, the brain. And I'm just, I'm so interested to see how um, her not being there is going to affect the team and their strategy and just like what new things they're going to do. Our tribal is another charter that's very different from last year's Big O. I will admit, I might be a little biased when talking about our tribal, just maybe a little bit. But I really do think that the people coming up and taking um, those those roster spots have been um, working so hard. It's such a great, talented bunch of just killer skaters. I'm so excited for you guys to see everybody. Um, and if during the Big O you hear just like some really excited shrieking off in the distance, that's me in St. Louis losing my mind over uh, my friends playing in their first big O games um, because I'm going to be losing my mind. So in case you were worried what that sound was, that's me. Hey. Speaking of team switch-ups, let's talk about Sacramento. The two former Sacramento City Leagues merged to Sacramento. Uh, they got four closer back, um, who had transferred to Bay Area for a bit, um, and they just cleaned up at the Clover Cup. Say that five times fast. Cleaned up at the kill. Nope, can't even do it once. They beat Rocky Mountain, Madison, and Houston. So make sure to look out for their games at the Big O. I'm really um, interested to see what big things they're gonna do. Three, there will be no VRDL versus Rose rematch. And it's cool, I'm not like bitter about it at all. Not at all. This has been one of the most intense matchups for the last few years, so of course, the Derby vs is just a little bit upset about it. But it's the Big O, and there are so many other games to be hyped for. Like Denver vs. Angel, which is the rematch of the year in my opinion, and apparently Hardy's. Yeah. As an Angel City fan, it hurt like hell when Denver knocked us out so late in the postseason. Uh, really didn't think we were going to lose that one, so I'm, I'm looking for an Angel win. And lastly, this year will be the first year in Big O history that the stream will not be free. Personally, I am for this. I understand it's a huge production to try to live stream, and if I can support them with my monies, I will do so. What about you? Are you excited for the Big O? Will you be watching? Will you be there in person? What games are you excited about? What skaters can't you wait to see? Leave it all in the comments below. And make sure you're following the Apex for all of your WFTBA needs. They just put out a really great profile with Melly Wana from Montreal um, that I absolutely loved. I'm all for high-level athletes advocating for taking breaks, so make sure to check that out. If you want to catch me in the meantime before the next Apex video, you can find me at any of these places or knoxtalks.com. There you can find all of my videos, my Derbyverse weekly roundups, and information about my Facebook discussion group, State of Skate. Let's talk about roller derby.